Hello students and welcome to virtual art lesson of quarter four, number seven. Um, obviously, I'm you're not having live Zoom. I, I'm a little under the weather, but I hope you guys really enjoy this lesson. It's going to be good. So, our vocabulary for this week is collage, a piece of art made by sticking different materials on top of each other, and found objects. Found objects are literally just objects we find or things we find around us in our daily lives. So you can kind of get a hint of what we're going to be creating this week. Hopefully you have your cereal box or some cardboard and a couple of markers because you're going to be going on a hunt. So I can create a flower based collage from flowers and a cereal box and I can explain what is a fountain object collage. So let's get into it and take a look what it's going to really look like guys. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Torres. Uh, this week I'm a little under the weather so we're going to do a video for this week. What you're going to need is a cereal box. And if you guys, if you don't have a cereal box, you can always use kind of like a Pop-Tart box, Cheez-It box, anything that's made out of this material will honestly work. So once you have your box, you need to take it and open it from the bottom. Make sure the bottom's open. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. Um, if you don't have scissors, you could try to hand rip it, but that's up to you. And we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut up all the sides here. So I'm going to fast forward. Now that's cut out, we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And you need either a black marker, black crayon, or a black color pencil, something nice and dark. We need to find the middle of our box. So I'll say right about there and put a teeny tiny dot just so we know it's the middle. And now we're gonna draw and design our vase. And obviously there are many different ways to draw a vase. When I refer to vases, guys, I'm talking about containers that hold plants. So if you want to, you can pause the video and you can use some of these for ideas if you wanna draw your own different vase. I'm just going to draw this face on my cardboard, but you can pause this and try to draw any one, other ones of these if you really wanted to, okay? So to make this face, I'm just going to put a nice big line through my dot. Angle the lines down. I'm going to do a nice curvy bump. And I'm almost coming to the bottom. I'm going to leave myself a little space and make it touch. Okay. Your next job is to decorate and design your vase. So you can go ahead. I'll just kind of fast forward through this, what I'm going to do. Okay, so I skipped over the drawing because, guys, I really want you to draw whatever designs you would like for yours. You don't have to, well, I mean, I prefer you don't copy my design. You can use some of the ideas, but try to use your own. After you colored and decorated it, what you're going to do, well, maybe not you so much, is you're going to need maybe dad or an older sibling to help you out, even mom, even though it's supposed to be a gift for her. We're gonna grab a pen, and it's gonna sound crazy, but I'm going to kind of poke holes. So this is the hard part, like I said, you're probably gonna want an adult for this to help you out. Put a couple in here. So I'm putting, I mean, you can put however many you need. Two, three, four, five, I'll do one, two, Three and one up here. So I kind of made it look like, kind of like a pyramid. And your job when it's not a rainy, crazy, miserable day, guys, is you're going to go on a flower hunt if you can. Hopefully if you have some nearby. If not, I guess you could draw, but my hope is that you can at least pick some dandelions. Those are the yellow flowers that grow in our yards. And you could stick them in these holes. If you have other plants in your house, like I do, you could just kind of add in leaves and other colorful flowers, and this is your gift. So I really hope you guys have fun, get to do a little exploring, okay? And please send me a picture. I would love to see your picture with the real flowers, but if you don't have any real flowers, you could just draw some.